Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Today is a special day, because my brother is turning 14, and he is going to choose my Lumians for the battles today. Go ahead and point at the ones that you want. You can choose any of the PvP boxes that you see. Okay, Spreezy, that's a fantastic start. Who? Okay. Um, you can keep going. You can keep going in any of the boxes. Okay. Him? That's unable to be used. It's unable. Okay. Um, <laughs> honestly, I'm not sure how well this is going to turn out, but let's sure try it. We got our Spreezy. We got our Ikazune, we got our Cephalops, we got our Mutagon, and I'm pretty sure this is a very old Eruptodon. Yeah, this is before it got, like, Stretch and Accelerate. And this is when I was still a bad TV <laughs> This is meant to just, like, hit as fast as and fast and hard as possible. Carolin and Gardrone. Yay, holy time. Okay, anyway, let's get into the first battle. Alright, we're gonna get to the first battle. I'm pretty sure I actually know who this person is. And it's a your snack baffle Valkyrie team. Uh okay. Let's try to bet out some Thunder Strikes. Honestly, it's Setamars. It's the only it's the really thing the only thing that I'm really worried about is that Setamars. Um pretty much everything else can get destroyed by Mudagon. So Mudagon's gonna be a hard carry in this game. Um Gardrone can be a lead. I guess. Or we could go Spreezy. Eh. We have Trap Removal with Erupted Dawn, so. What is this Spreezy again? Okay, I'm gonna leave this Spreezy. And. Then do I go Seth? Or Carolin? Carolin could just put so many holes in their defenses. And if we get a stretch off, we outspeed everything on his team besides the Zulong if it's very nimble. Or we go into you and try to bait out a T-Strike. I think we're going to do that. Because then the setup Mars won't be able to hurt us very much. And we can hit it hard with Tsunami. Zulong is his lead. I think the very first thing I'm going to do is go for a Talent Trade. He's going to burst. Alright, that's good. I think I actually tank this pretty well. Because I'm clever. Now this guy has like... Yeah, he can't. He can barely do any damage now. I'm not sure if I live this next hit, but we can try. I'm gonna go for barbs now. Yeah, we definitely do die there. Alright, we're gonna play something. We're gonna do this. We go into our drone. Then we're gonna go into Ikazune. Try to bait out a T-Strike. If he goes into Sedmars, it's gonna suck. He goes into Infernix. I guess that's not terrible. I could go for a Magnify, but True Blast is gonna hurt, and I really don't wanna take that damage right now. Uh, I'll go for a. I'll go for a. Uh, I'll go for a Magnify. He's gonna peace of mind. I don't like that Infernus cannot speed a Kazuna. I don't think it should. He's gonna fire a breath. That is not gonna do that much. It shouldn't. Wow, I can hit anything in the game I want super effectively right. I can hit anything super hard. This thing is not going to be able to live. And that's going to put a huge hole in his range defensive side. A plus four doesn't KO. That sucks. I really feel like Infernix should not be able to outspeed this thing. But alas, it does. Alright, well, I guess we have to go into Mudagon because we don't have very we don't have a lot of fast stuff on this team, which is unfortunate, but we're gonna go into Mudagon and go for a uh, Eh, we'll go for a quick punch. If he goes into your snack, it's fine. 
Or will he just kill his Infernix? If it's Power Napper, then he's definitely going to swap out. Probably going to go into your snack. I probably should have gone for a Telekinetic, but I didn't. Okay, we're going to go to Cephalops now. Because we'll be able to resist his slap. But that Infernix looked Pyro. I think it was Pyro. Mm. Yep, there's the slap down. Let's go for a hypnotize. There goes for there is some chip. Now let's go for a tsunami. Does he go into Infernix, perfect. That's what I wanted. It is Power Napper, I knew it. Okay, that should... That's not gonna kill it. That's gonna suck. Okay. Let's go for another Tsunami, then. He's gonna Phoenix Flame. Okay, it's not gonna heal him all the way. So, yeah. We definitely kill it next hit. So... We're, we could go for Hypnotize, actually. We can go right back into your snack. Yeah, he's just going to stall out with his Infernix. He does not want it to die. Okay, let's just rest then. Let's go for another Hypnotize. I probably should have went into Mudagon there. He might just wait or rest. No, he's gonna go right back into your snack, probably. Yeah, this guy is loving his your snack. I hate your snack, man. It's so annoying. It's taking chip damage, which it's not gonna be able to take very much more of it. So I'm gonna go into Moodagon. Now I'm going to go for a Brawn Boost. He's using a semi stall team, I think. This is looking unsure of victory. But, oh. Did he leave the game because, like, I was going to win? I'm confused. <laughs> Let's make sure we have something that can kill Zulongs. We have to get some predictions out there. Good luck and have fun. All right. Ooh. Unfortunately, this team looks very annoying to deal with. Fire Breath is really good here on Gardrone. Gardrone's going to be really good here, so let's bring Gardrone. We could lead with Eruptodon. I think Very Nimble can outspeed Valkyrie. And we, just, we could just click Fire Breath as many times as we want to. So yeah, let's do that. We'll bring Spreezy for later. Maybe to get a late game Barbs. Yeah, they actually don't have any Barbs removal, so maybe Barbs would be really good. So I'll do that. Ugh. They have Vesp, so oh, they're definitely gonna. I have Moodagon, so they're definitely gonna bring Vesp. I think I need to bring Moodagon, actually. This game is gonna be about me getting the predictions and trying to get Igazune on the field. Because other than that, it's, uh, it's gonna be very difficult, but I think we should be able to. We might be able to persevere. We might have tokens in, so that's actually good. That's really good that that comes in. I'm going to twirly twirl. Twirly whirl, I mean. In the daze, that's exact. That's why I use twirly whirl instead. If it hits itself, I'm so good. Dang it, imagine. So that's definitely not going to kill. Oh, God, that thing is so annoying. Oh, 
<laughs> Why did I not talent trade at the start? That Metatoad is useless now. That Metato can't do anything. His Cycle Slap is gone. It's gone. I'm gonna go into Ruptodon now. Go for a burn up. I should have Magnify on this, but I don't, which is kind of annoying. I don't think he realizes his specialization is gone. What? How does that not kill? Okay, well, there goes Eruptodon, I guess. It's very annoying. I don't like that it hits like a truck. Okay. Let's go for a Fire Breath. Now, we're gonna... If he goes into Proto here... Actually, no, he's not going to. He's gonna go into like, something like Garbantis. Unsure of what he's gonna go into. When I first used this card drone, it was really good. I don't know why, because I was able to live in Avatross's Thunder Crash at like half HP. It was great. I'm gonna just serve Olin. Let's go for Metal Blast then. He's gonna stretch. Alright, Quick Punch is definitely gonna be able to KO this then. Oh yeah, so we basically lose to Vesp right now, which really sucks. He's just gonna go for a Mega, a Mega Chomp. So yeah, we lose to Vesp, which is unfortunate. So we have to go Mudigon here, basically. Like it, we have to. We're gonna, we're gonna take a lot of damage from Mega Chomp, but we ba we basically have to go into Mudigon here. We don't have any other choice. And he crit me. Now, does he go into Proto? He gonna, yeah, he's gonna go into Vest because he's very nervous that Moodgun is gonna be able to kill everything. That means we get to go into Gardrone. And if he goes into Protogon after it dies, then we're basically fine. So, yeah, we need him to do everything that we want him to do right now. We have to kill his Vest with the Gardrone. And then uh, he has to switch in. He has to switch the Protagon in, ho which hopefully he does have it. <laughs> Go in Protagon. Go in Protagon. Come on, go Protagon. That might have just been GG right there. for thunder strike oh, okay we're good <laughs> yeah if it's garlash it doesn't matter the game's over Whew, that's a little scary not gonna lie he had every reason to win that but he did everything i wanted him to so that's good. Okay. 
So, yeah, it's Garlash. Yeah, his team was very obvious that game. Okay. Well, I should have Deja. <laughs> if you did Deja Vu, you probably would have won that. GG. Even then, I might have been able to live the vicious snap. Who knows? Robust our drone, good. <laughs> Alright, I think we have time for like one more battle because I need to go get to partying. <gasps> A double battle? Let's go! Double battle! Uh, I love double battles. Those are always fun. Please accept it. Okay, good. Okay. Here we go. That is a doorbell. <laughs> yeah, people are still getting here, so there might be some chaos for a little bit, but I'm still unsure, so shut up. <laughs> I can actually lead this. This actually might be better lead, and I could thunder. And I could thunder strike if I wanted to. And oh my goodness gracious, dog! Ah! Okay. Stop! Sound insane, dog. Exactly. I knew they were gonna. I have the perfect counter lead right now. <laughs> I have the perfect. This man's just choked his lead. He choked everything. He choked his entire lead. That's gonna be a GG already. Hello. Not really. It's not gonna be a GG. Okay, there's chaos happening behind me, but it's fine. Everything's gonna go our way. Everything is going to be completely fine. My cousin just broke my amazing Chinese fan. No, it was already broken. No, broken. you broke it. Oh crap. I did not account for this. I did not account for Gobademic. There's a piece missing. I know. Which is what sucks. <laughs> Actually, what if we reversed everything and I thunderstrike the moon again? <laughs> or I live the muck blast because I'm just that tanky, or I quick punch Odasho because I'm paranoid. Watch, I'm gonna live the muck hypno. I did not think that he would go for that, but he did anyway. So let's go for another Metal Blast on the Gobademic. And we could Quick Punch the Gobademic and try to kill. I don't think Quick Punch is going to kill, is the unfortunate part. Odasha is just going to dodge, so. We could save Mudagon for later, actually. So let's go into Carolyn then. Kill the Gobademic, go into Carolyn. We're going to take some damage from Gobademic. Hopefully, we don't get poisoned, because if we get poisoned, we're going to be in a terrible spot. Not that bad, but Gobademic's really the only threat right now. If I had Stratosaur with Mutagon, I really think that's an unbeatable duo. Except if Vesperatu is a thing. So. Stratosaur and Mutagon would have been a really good addition to this. Because then we would be able to take out ranged and melee side. Because I could just Metal Shriek. Carolyn finally gets to do something. I'm gonna go for Hypnotize again. You would think he would Muck Blast. Is this guy gonna follow Sleep Claws? I did not expect him to do that, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna go for Metal Blast, and I'm gonna go for a Stretch. Actually, I'm gonna go for Rough Up instead. I should be able to kill Odash in that range. I'm hasty, very brawny, power cuffs. I should, in theoretically, be able to do that.
Is this man's gonna move? Is this man's gonna move? Because I've already done my moves. He's gonna swap into your soul. Kiro. He's gonna he's gonna not fall asleep, Claws. Buddy. Buddy O oh, pal. Follow sleep claws. This man isn't gonna follow it. Gonna go for Metal Blast and Gobademic then. He's just gonna go for a Primal Slash or Adaptive Assault, so we gotta go Cephalops and hope that we wake up. Health gift on Gobademic. I'm gonna go into Odasho. Oh crap, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! <sighs> Useless Gardrone. Now he wakes up, right? Okay. Ikazune should still theoretically be able to be this Carolyn. Gonna go into Odasho. Why would you health gift your Odasho if I have Mutagon? Very strange play, but we're going to double on this Carolyn. We have to. I'm going to go for a Metal Blast. This is about to prove Robust Guard Drone can live any hit at max. <laughs> well, definitely. Okay. Actually, our Soul Drain is stronger because we have Dark Essence. So let's go for a... We're going to go for it. This is getting a little stressful because... I'm just annoyed that guy with Demic. He's using Hypnotize Health Gift. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Six, six HP. Uh, remember that Quick Punch exists and you don't have a swap into it? Quick Punch, Kirolin, Hypnotize Odasho. If he goes into your soul. Then I go into Kirolin, resisting Shadow Sprint slash Phantom Slash. How's it feel, buddy? Of not being able to do anything because I clicked hypnotize. <laughs> Is it your soul? If it's your soul, I'm gonna go into Carolyn and then I'm going to probably Tsunami? Yeah, it is your soul. So we win the game pretty easily this turn because we're gonna wake up with Carolyn. I'm gonna go for Tsunami because I'm gonna fall asleep, Claws, buddy. I'm gonna follow it. Yeah, it's very chaotic behind me, but it's it's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. This is what was meant to happen. Okay. Do we do? Carolyn is going so oh god. I didn't expect him to sharpen there. Odasho is still asleep. Okay. Okay, let's go for an adaptive assault on the Ursul. Hopefully we hit it. If not, then we're gonna be in a very interesting spot where we have to like kill the Ursul right now. If it doesn't have sprint, which is isn't Sprint a rally move for your soul? It's quick. That shouldn't kill me. Yeah, it's not going to kill me. Let me hit it. That's going to be the your soul down. I shouldn't kill Kirill. It's going to kill Kirill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
Let's go into Moodagon. And then we Mega Punch. Mega Punch. It was. <laughs> How's it feel to be hypnotized? Sorry, buddy. That's not happening. two moves, but GG. GG. Well, that was surely an interesting battle. I think we won all of them. I'm pretty sure that we did. The second battle was pretty close. The double battle was pretty fun. I think the first battle was... I don't remember what happened in that one. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.